Hey, what's up everybody? In today's video, we're talking about Strong Lot, guys, and the rewards, especially, more importantly, that Polygon node. What is that Polygon node, guys? I mean, obviously, it's on a Polygon network, all right? Same, same SHITs, verifying transactions, same stuff. But there's a difference. Uh, first difference, first clear difference. I mean, there's a pro and a con, pretty much, is what this video is going to go about. I'm not going to try to rant on for too long. But there's a pro and a con. The pro, we all know how Ethereum node, there's this crazy amount of transaction fees. Currently, I have seven nodes. Um, I cashed out yesterday, and when I cashed out on those seven nodes, I might have pulled, I might have claimed like seven strong, and that I need for my software business, for ads, and on that seven strong, I paid, I think, 200 bucks, and that's usually what the lowest I see it go to. I have a buddy that has around 60 nodes. Whenever he claims, it's a minimum of like 2K. I know another guy that has 300 nodes. Yeah, 300 nodes. Pretty sure he's paying anywhere between 15 to 19K in transaction fees every single time he pulls out. So he only pulls out like once a month. Yeah, that's a little high, as I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'm sure you understand that. Polygon, though you obviously don't have those transaction fees well you have a little bit but it's nothing crazy like paying 200 dollars for me or the 19k like my other buddy nozilla does so what's the drawback behind that i mean obviously it's a great thing that you don't have to pay those transaction fees but the drawback about there is that you know how you had to you get rewarded 0.9999997 or something like that every single day with the polygon nodes you the the reward you get per day is actually starts decreasing it like depreciates I don't have the exact statistics on how much it depreciates on or if it ever goes to zero. But my buddies, my whales that I know I talked to about this, they tell me that even though it does depreciate, even though that the reward is due to K, overall, it's still 100% worth it because you don't have to pay those crazy transaction fees. Only time will tell of how much the rewards actually decrease by. I don't have, like I said, I don't have the exact statistics, but just keep that in mind for the next time you're debating on doing a strong node or a, I mean, doing a Ethereum node or doing a Polygon node. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video helped. Hope you get a little insight. I know Polygon nodes are still very, very new. So very, very young. Like for right now, you have to have an NFT to even get a Polygon node. So guys, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you all later. Hope that helps.